My name is Kevin. I am here from Magoosh to help you with GMAT. Um, today we're talking about uh, sentence correction traps on the GMAT, and specifically traps that are built using subject verb agreement errors. Um, the thing that we're going to be looking at today is collective nouns. Collective nouns can be tricky for students because it appears to be something that should be plural, but it's actually singular. Um, so some examples of collective, na collective nouns excuse me, are jury, committee, party, majority, audience, crowd, class, and family. There are more, um, but these are some of the major ones that you'll see. Um, and it does seem like maybe a committee or a party should be thought of as plural, but usually the way that it's used in a sentence is singular. It's everyone in that group is working together as one singular unit to do something. Um, and that's what we see in this example here. With much deliberation and public testimony, an evaluation of depositions from businesses, the committee unanimously rule, rules to fund the renovation project. Um, so actually, we can kind of ignore the very beginning of the sentence, just an introductory phrase, um, and just cut to the chase here. And we have the committee rule or rule. So committee is singular. And so we need to have a singular noun, rules. So here, the committee unanimously rules to fund the renovation project. Now, sometimes these nouns can be used um, to have a plural meaning. Um, for example, it would be okay to say the committee rule to fund, but most often you would change the sentence a little bit and say the committee members rule, and then it's very clear that each person within the committee is acting on their own fruition. Um, so, if you have any other questions or are looking for more tips, head on over to magoosh.com, that's M-A-G-O-O-S-H.com, forward slash GMAT.